Hey everyone, it is Nick, Duke of Hobbies, and joined by... Jake, a Pinox. <laughs> Alright, well we're actually recording, uh, hopefully this goes well, this is a test setup kind of thing too, but our Players League Season 2 Finals match, Jake and I did end up making <laughs> the, uh, the top two, so... Uh, I got him yep. on one call. He's here. He can't see my screen at all. We're just kind no, of. I would. I. Yeah. I wouldn't cheat anyways. I. I oh, would you totally would. Uh, I mean, I already kind of, unfortunately for you, have a type advantage. And I yeah, kind of we do know each other's decks. So, uh, but uh, we're gonna kind of get into the match here shortly now. So let's uh, let's start off round one, Jake. Okay. Uh, well, I before I do that, um, I, I'll send you the invite. I oh, do want to say congrats to uh, Steve yeah. and Colton for making the playoffs and actually giving us both um, a heck of a uh, matchup on in round one. Uh, and you both squeaked it out with two games to one and happened to kind of just meet up in the finals. You're both your co-host of the podcast. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, last time we met in top four, so uh, yep. you know, we keep playing each other. But we keep uh, playing each other. I don't know so if that's a this... good thing or. A... You know, I, I'm going to say it's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I'll just say it at least at least on my end. <laughs> I keep <laughs> I keep getting here. Uh, that's okay. The... And then another another thing I want to point out before we start playing uh, is Nick is. I always kind of had my number in playoff games. <laughs> it doesn't even matter the game we're playing. So in the past, in X-Wing and Pokemon last season, even if I'm quote-unquote the favored player, he usually finds a way to beat me. So always well, keep that in mind. Yeah, well, I think, I think I'm a bit of a disadvantage here. It's Picaron versus Inteleon, and... <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. I uh, we'll, we'll we'll definitely see, but yeah, I, well, I yeah we we actually don't know what's in each other's decks right now. We just know because of the fact that the way we record our results. So we send a yeah. screenshot, and of course, then you see who is the main attackers and stuff. That way, it's just everything's uh, legitimately shown, and there's no uh, yeah you know, kind of stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah. I also again Colton and uh, Colton. I played Colton to get into the playoffs. Uh, uh, my hey, our games together were just cr absolutely weird. The first you game, Steve. Uh, well, no, no, no. I'm just saying in um, uh, in the uh, in the bracket or in the ladder, uh, oh, okay, okay. leading up. Yeah, he was in he was in my pod. So me and him played uh, our three games against each other, and like, I think the first game he donked me. I only had I think I had I, I was playing Baby Zard, and I had a Jirachi out, and he, he I went. <laughs> Turn one had nothing. I couldn't like tr you know it was dreamy. Yeah, but he just dunked it. Not nothing. Uh, yeah, and he he did a turn this. Um, then I played. Whew, I can't even remember the second game. It was bad for me, and so I was just really upset. And I went back to ba Leon Zard, um, and he played the same. He played a th turn this against me three times in a row, and yeah. I whooped him. The, the the third the Leon Zard was just so hot and I think I even pulled the uh, the ultimate KO version where like um, I needed to play the Leon and get to the max damage so it was like 330 and I, I knocked him out um, nice yeah it was just it was just it was just a mean it was just mean from him that game which was kind of yeah. good but uh, but yeah then right. you played you played Steve how did those matches go for you um so Steve and I, uh, he he was playing Santa Scorch and I was playing Peak. And the first game he won, uh, it was kind of decisive. The second game I won, and I I won because Raichu Raichu uh, is, you know, paralyzing. Yeah. And third game, I think I prized Raichu Raichu, and he kind of got off the hot start. And I, I kind of responded, but... Wasn't 100%, uh, you know, didn't have peak or uh, Raichu Raichu to uh, paralyze, so it kind of was the game at that point. Yeah. All right. So you lost the coin flip? No, I won it. Oh, you won? Yeah, I won the coin flip. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I was talking. Yeah, you were talking. That's right. And trying to show off over there. What are you talking about? You got that um, good old uh, Players Cup my, 2 my, box, my right? Player 
my Players Cup 2 stuff? Yeah, I, every single deck has those. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, uh, that's not... Got an interesting start here. Yes. I mean, it's, it seems like you got what you want for turn one as good as you can. Um, I can't complain too much right now. Everyone's gonna be like, "Dick, you idiot!" And it's like, I know, I know, I mess, I'm, I, I'm gonna be getting a lot of flack here because I know what I should have done otherwise. Uh, <laughs> you showed me that you got the uh, the Intellion or the uh, the Frostmoth, Frost yeah. Okay, so it's the Darmanitan version. All right, I'll go from there. All right, let's see. So I got the Voltum. Let's see how greedy I can be here. Well, the only good news is you start out with a crowbat out front, so that helps a little, a tiny amount. Yeah. Okay. So I got two of those. An intense game. I'm just trying to yeah, see how, I want, how greedy I want to try to get, you know? It's up to you. I think I just take him. Oh. Yeah. I think I know how greedy you can get here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, that card well, is, is that card is so good for Picarom. <laughs> so so here's my thing. I could be conservative. Now I'm gonna try to be greedy. Now that's interesting. I thought you would hmm. play that on. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Do I get rid of him? This is the greedy part. Okay. Yeah, I think you're sitting okay. Uh, I think uh, I the only I got a little lucky that well, it's only one of the energy in there, so that helps. That doesn't. That doesn't. Please don't be. Yes. <laughs> there's some kind of delay here. I know, I know, I know. We, there's always going to be a delay when we're playing online like this. Especially, I'm again not the best internet setup right now, but. So I, I could have got the full blitz off that turn if I would have gotten a energy switch. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I was trying to be a little greedy, but, you know. Do that. Okay. Do that. Thank you. It's not who I want to do, but I got to.
options. So I'm doing 160. Well, it's 30 times, what is it? Or 10, 10, yeah. So yeah, so it'll be 160. I think that's a knockout. <laughs> well, it's it's a knockout to your act. I, I know, I know. I just I take that. Even though you're going to, eh, maybe that was a mistake. Actually, I think it was. So we'll see. Big charm would have been better, but okay. Well, big charm's not going to help. Um, your well, um, he was on my active. Oh, yeah, you could have. <sighs> I think you might actually have this game. I have a shot right now. It, 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 it's going to there's going to be one major factor here. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench that has damage. Yeah, for each damage counter on them. So that, that. And you're going to take some prizes here. That's a knockout there. Uh, I mean, you're taking peak for sure. So wait, your bear scooter does what? I kill whatever's in your bench right now. This does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench. Uh, re it's 20 damage for each for, for, to one of this tech does 20 damage to one of your opponents for each damage counter on that Pokemon. It's yeah, so it's reverse counter. Well, that's just mean. Oh, jeez. What? 
You got the heads. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> da, da, da. That's not fun. I was one energy short. Yeah, I think you're going to just win this game. Yeah, because you... I needed one more energy. Oh, wow. I topped it, too. I had the switch. When you reset stamp me, you gave me the switch again. So, wait, so he just... That's a pretty dirty trick there. Yeah. Two for Woo! Here, wow. let me make a deck choice uh, change real fast. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's game one to me. Jeez, yeah, uh... I, I got. I mean, I, the the luck was how fast I got Darmanitan up and going. That, that game. Yeah, you got him pretty quickly. I should real quick. Him. I was considering bossing him, and then but I just decided to take Intellion. Oh, yeah, I... that was the mistake. Um, I'll go first. Okay, let me let me put it in the chat uh, or the uh, the league's results real quick. Okay, I'll send a challenge to you. Game one, Duke. Boom. Well, you're you're making thirty three percent of Twitter on the or the Twitter poll happy. <laughs> I got a vote. I got one or two votes. <laughs> All right, I'm all set. Now you got. You got a few. I know I got a few. That's that's the impressive part. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Just uh, send it. Yeah, what? I sent it to you. Okay. It's just like no, I said. Yo, you declined it. I didn't decline it. Uh, I I wasn't paying attention. I must have missed it because I was on the other screen. Send it again. I like I said. We uh, that's why that's why we're not even streaming this. It's just the internet. This is not what it needs to be right now. Would you say that deck runs that smoothly, like every turn? Mm, I've had good consistency with it. I'll be honest with you. I didn't want to talk about this deck too much while we were talking to Steve about it. Yeah. Um, and this isn't my version. Like I, I made a few changes. Wait, but... why did you go first? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot! Well, I'm sorry. I have a good hand. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Do, do you want? Do you want to keep this hand? I I messed up. I completely messed up. I was I, I. Um, I want to keep my hand because I I like it. Well, I I mean I ah oh, son of a gun. I honestly just wasn't paying attention. I normally when I'm when I play Intellion, I want to go first. Yeah. Okay. Let's just let's just if you get a bad here here's the deal. If you get a bad hand to start off with, we can restart again and do it again because that's the only thing that's fair. Because I don't want to... That's that's the fair thing. You so. fucker. Well, I have, like, the perfect hand. <laughs> well, that's why I'm, I'm making sure everyone knows that's watching this that if you don't like your hand, you could take... We could take them all again again. So, it was, it was my fault. <laughs> Win the coin toss this time. <laughs> Oh gosh, I won. No. How about you do it the right time, the right way this time? I am. I am sorry about that again. Like, uh, I guess. I, if it's you not it, nearly as good. Well, if whatever. you want to take it back, if you want to start up again, let's do it again. I'm perfectly fine doing that because I totally messed up that last game. game. Are you good playing this game? Sure. All right. I just want to double check. Oh, man, look at that rainbow, Marnie. Just push her away. I don't need her. Hey, guess what? Can't, uh, I'll, you know, I'll let you go. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you after your turn's over.
Okay. Putting that balloon on top of him might be the death of me. right seems like a decent turn one yeah, I can't complain right now. I'm actually not. Uh, do that. Uh, I smell throw bat. <laughs> you don't you don't know anything about my crow bat and me. Uh, Sniping peak of realms. Wow. Okay. Ne never mind. Never mind. I guess that. Okay. I was just looking through your discard pile. That's all. Two of those. How many of those do I have? Okay. That makes my decision better. Let's see. Why is it holy peak? This sucks. Thank you. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you're gonna get the energy you need in there. This comes too late though. I don't um, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, yeah, it did. This fucking sucks. God, that uh. balloon killed me. Oh, because you couldn't, you can't switch. I just lose. Fuck me. Uh. Oh no. That just killed me too. <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, Nick. <laughs> well, uh, we're in an interesting predicament here, myself. That reset stamp. If you didn't reset stamp me... That would be a much better. Um, I think. I think. I knew, I, I knew you had the snot or the frost moth. 
No, I put him in the deck. I didn't, I didn't have him there. I had, I, I could tell you, know, you'll see what I had later, but it, 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 I think I had like any, some sort of recovery in path. Um, that's still the right call. Okay. Never mind. You're going to really hate me for this one now. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the dub. Well, it's not over yet. Uh, yes, it is. switch <laughs> Poor Frostmark. <laughs> oh. All right, fine. Bugger. Oh, I know, timer. I'm thinking. I don't like it, but that's the call. Is that enough energy? No. Okay. Actually, that was a mistake. I should have killed your... What's his face? Bear Scooter? Yeah. Oh, no way.
I'm trying to show no emotion. <laughs> Did you just get the boss and the thing? Um, no. Well, I got something. Uh, I need... Do that. I play that. I play this. Ah. Uh, you can't. Nope. I. You know what I was going for? No. Are uh, you trying to get tool scrapper? Oh, you have one. Mm-hmm. If I can, if I, and I would knock him out, and then I had I had the boss, but I can't win with the boss. I needed yeah. it. I need Intellion V Max, and I don't. Um, Your deck is an asshole. <laughs> Oh, he's in there. And the Tull Scrapper. Good game. GG. Yeah, he got that one. I mean, I can kill. I could kill the Bolt Hound, but. And I could, you know. I needed Telescopic Sight. Uh, I needed. To win that one, I needed Teleon V. I had the bosses, and then I can bring up the Dende and knock out both of them. And that would win it for me. Yeah, so 100, that's that's enough. Damage. Yeah, you got it. Well, I don't know. Don't, don't take my word for it. If... There you go, yeah. Did you have the boss? Because I should have switched actually to Frostmoth, but I just figured it was over at that point. Uh, no, I didn't actually. Oh! <laughs> Son of a gun! Uh... I had ways to search for it, but I didn't. Okay, yeah, it yeah. Specifically. That's kind of good. All right, game two. Oh, I forgot to save it. Turn it. Oh. That's fine. All right. Well, it's saved. I didn't. I didn't save it either. But game Here. two. Uh, you you putting it down? Yeah. First or second, Nick? Uh, first. Okay. Here you go. This one's for all the marbles. I mean, your winning of game one was huge, though. Well, yeah. I mean, so you, uh, the getting the Nessa was huge for me, but that hand I had was so good uh, that before you marnied it away. Hey, I won the flip. Um, would I like to go first? I mean, yes, but you're going first, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> you're actually paying attention. Uh, I should get something for that. <laughs> So normally, I, like I would say, don't uh, 
bench a bench Pokemon to start like that? Oh, uh, you'll see why. Normally, I'd I mean, be like, I... yeah, I, I normally I'd go, yeah, I agree with that 100%. Oh, bugger. there can i just go straight for the donk <laughs> that's, that's good that's good that's good and that's He got the bench the way he wants it. He got energy. I'm going to lose this one. <laughs> nah. If I would have... Well, I mean, if you get a switch... If you had some way to get uh, him out of there, you take a huge lead there. Um, and then an energy switch and being able to attack. Okay, so he got the switch. I, I, I want to say you're not... Uh, you, sh you jerk you. I hope I top deck something. Just to bother you. That's fine. <laughs> That's the first time you got Team Yellow Crunch. Well, in the other instances, it didn't make sense. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez. Marning me to a bigger hand. Yeah, well, I'm sitting there with nothing. I literally had no way to play. Yeah, you won. I don't know about that. Sorry, I'm not trying to. You're good. No, take your time. Now you got to make sure you got everything going right. I already did an aid. Last turn. You didn't did an aid yet. Um, well, I think the one I tried did that. Oh, Crobat. Oh, don't, 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 don't rub it in now. Thank goodness. Mm. Oh, don't even rub it in again. What do you mean, don't rub it in? Okay, all right. Let's wait. 190. I think you kill Snom. Yeah, well... Tch. I know I what you're going. I know what you're going for. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. <laughs> Woohoo! I got that. Woohoo! Yay! It's big five cards coming up for you. Actually, this was a pretty good return. Finally. Cause screw you.
play the Inteleon. Why would I play the Inteleon at this point? I don't know. It's easy pickup. If I if I, you only play the Inteleon against Electric if you had if if you're going if you get him out there right away to do a little disruption like I did earlier, but. I'm okay with that. I would think you'd be okay with that. He's hunting for it. Ah, ah. <laughs> so absurd. Uh. That's the de move of desperation right there. Um, so, what I can do. Oh. <laughs> what is with this hand? All right. I do that. I'll do this, do something like this. I mean, it's not like I, 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 it's not even like I'm prized out of things right now. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those things mm -hmm. where I'm just like, every time I draw back up, the, oh my goodness. Well, at least that helped a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be game. Well, congrats, Jake. <laughs> I swear to God, I oh, I thought you had it game two. Oh, like it, 100%. Uh, I think I did until you uh, reset stamped me. I lost it on the reset stamp. I couldn't recover from it because the hand I got was like I got like got, I got lucky with the Nessa and stuff, but like I just there was no I had no play. Yeah. Okay. Let me do the math here real quick. So I'm doing you 190 plus. So it's what 250. Hold on, you got you got to hit me for another one sixty. That's it. Yeah, to kill. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah. You just got so you could switch out. Yeah, there you go. This is a boom. You got all your switches when you needed them this game. <laughs> I mean, you're this going. Game, yeah. you, the, it, I I still don't think I rolled a single heads on crushing hammer. <laughs> two two of them. Did I? Yeah, but it, the one I, didn't matter because I, I had I had Frostmoth going. It was like ah okay, and I just, just kept going. Dude, uh, for for good games though. For me, yeah, good game. They were like for me having Pika versus. I mean, I heard Inteleon. I figured you had Darmanitan, mm -hmm. but Darmanitan really makes that matchup. Yeah. Like super manageable, really. If you yeah, you 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 forego you, you forego. Like, you don't put Inteleon VMAX down, obviously, because that's just three easy prizes you sacrifice. So, like, you yeah. saw what I did in our first game, and I tried to do it in our second game, is I try to take away the big charm by sniping, uh, w especially with the gyroscope. Like, if I hit you with the, the, the telescopic sight uh, scope and I hit you for that 70, big charm's useless now on peak romp because i'm following up hopefully with darmanitan yeah. and that's 200 so 270 no matter what so that kills him there um then like right your right it's the same thing i try to set that up uh the mistake i think i made in game two was i didn't hit bolton 
with it because I because I didn't think you would put yeah. Big Charm on him because I was thinking, well, I, I knock out him either way. If I had hit him, then the following turn with Darmantan, I come up and I come up swinging and I take out Bolton and I take out uh, – or I can, I could actually, I could think I could have bosses ordered up and then taken out everyone. It was just, it was just like, ah. Yeah. That game two, that game two was, it, it, a lot like yours with Colton, like that game two was just like where it was at. Like, cause game three, it felt like I was. You were way ahead of me in game three. I, I mean, I got, I got two snoms. Darmantan and Darmantan G Max, and that first hand that I drew up, like you're like, oh, you mm. normally don't want to put the du- the double bench situation down. Normally, I'd be like, yeah, because you you want to get that Pokemon communication. But well, I... it's not even that. You like, I guess in a, a, in a three game set, it's not a big deal. But you don't want to tip your hand right. as much as possible. Right. I mean, but I mean, we've already that was game three, so yeah. obviously it was. The, but the I, the, the, my thing was that, like I had two bosses, two Marnies. Um, something a, a scoop up net and a and, a, and an energy and I drew into yeah. an energy and I was like oh <laughs> so I have to wait yeah. until next turn to get the Marnie off anyways which means my bosses are down and then I have no way to check what's in my deck and when I finally was able to check what's in my deck I was like oh cool I'm not priced out too bad it's round five I'm way behind yeah <laughs> especially Pika. Like I, I was just off in the races with that. Oh yeah, I mean you, so. you, I mean you did what you had to do with that. I mean, like that's, I mean that's the benefit of Pika Rum, how fast it is to get to that stage. Like, you know, like oh most people, you definitely want that Bolton out first, and you're like, oh that's okay, I got Pika Rum out there first. I'll be back. I'll be back in problem, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, and, and well, yeah, and that was that was that was like you know just just it's amazing how you know, the electromagnetic radar is just so good for it. Yeah, so I think Pokemon in general is trying to get away with uh, away from um, that turbo, just consistent early game like Pika does. Um, yeah, it has it, without <laughs> consequences at least, like because you still have the electrode, uh, but there's consequences of prize. Right, right. You, you either so, or or like or like uh, you know you have the selfish way of doing it like we have bolton but like pikachu you see how they're evolving they're changing it charge is now on him only not yeah and we're seeing that with other ones too the the only other one that we're seeing that's not is blastoise v max dude uh, blastoise v max i think is going to be legit because i don't think lightning really really is going to be a thing uh well come with, sword and shield Urfufu, meta yeah it, the, the ursifu is just gonna oh. goodbye yeah. you're gone uh a turn of this hey we said uh, that about lightning. colossal we said that about no, 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 colossal no. though yeah but okay <laughs> colossal's good it's a tanky deck and it it does to a fact uh you know kind of take that up but the urshifu uh, i think it was the 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 multi-strike one or i think he's the one that just one shots him no matter what with uh with one energy like at least with colossal you have to have kind of like set up and whatnot yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, and I think it just seems a little quicker. But uh, and, and saying that though, like I'm just saying, because Pico Rom's gonna rotate anyways, uh, like shortly, like a couple months after uh, Urshifu comes out. But I'm just saying, like Eternatus is gonna kind of go away for a while. So I think it's, uh, and, I... and I think what. I, I, mean, I don't know. It pretty much is, I, I like it. I, I I mean, I'm just partial to it because I like it. <laughs> I'm yeah, biased. Like it I'm biased. It's, a fun, it's a fun deck, but uh, yeah. It's too straightforward, though. It's it's actually, that's why I like the Poison variant I've been talking to you about it because it's, it's one of those, oh, yeah. it at least changes it up, but it is it is so linear in its play style where like after like four or five games, you're like, okay, I'd like to try something a little trickier. You know, you know what I mean? Like, there's not... Yeah. Yeah, but, like, like you know, Pikaram... Pikaram is still... I When playing Pikaram is still fun because it's, it is still a challenge to figure out how fast you got to go to get to that point. And I think yeah. that's why people always like going back to it because it's, it's hard to get bored with it, though. You know, yeah. not not just because you're, you, you, can, you have a good chance of winning. It's not boring to play. That's why I like the Inteleon, the Star, Inteleon Darmanitan one. It's not boring for me to play. I try to, like, no, uh, it's yeah, like, especially fun. with, yeah, it, like, like that bear Scooter snipe to win it. Like, that's, that, that damage output, like, no one sees that coming. 
ever. Well, I yeah, well, yeah. The, I, after I re- like, you you kind of, I knew it was good, and I knew it did something similar, but that that's kind of broken. It's pretty good. Well, um, it, it, here's the tricky part, though. It can, and this is it's actually pretty balanced this way. Is it has to be a benched Pokemon. I've lost so many times because my opponent realizes that, and they'll put the damaged one up. Yeah. And then I can't hit it. Like, I have to have a boss. Well, the, the problem is, like, in the game that you won because you used Barrascuda, like, even if I put Dedenne in the active, I still just lose. Well, I, you had Crobat. You had, you had, you had, you had I enough. I Crobat that match, but, uh. Yeah, you did. You had a night, because I got 90 damage onto him. I had enough damage because I did Darmanitan twice that okay. game so that's because i took out the yeah, bolton well, yeah, uh, you, yeah you got darmanitan game one so out so fast, so fast. Like, it was turn two yeah because you you went first you you got you got the turn two darmanitan with the frost moth and all the energy mm-hmm. turn two it's like fuck i can't keep up with that and with like the metal energy is like oh yeah normally normally that's why normally the consistency i have with this deck is not that bad um, there's times where, like you saw in that third game, where you just, you just like, like for some reason, and I swear it, it is online play only. Like you get that hand where it's just multiples of the same thing, mm-hmm. and you're like, what, what just happened here? Like, and then there's, it's just nothing to, like I have, I have enough professors, I have enough Marnies, you know, I have the standard amount there, and, you know, that's the danger of going first. But I, I, I've only seen benefits of going first with this deck because of the fact as soon as Frostmoth and depending on the matchup, like if it's a, a ADP, which is what, what it was against um, uh, Steve, everything focuses into Inteleon. Yeah. Because I don't need, I like the 200 damage, but he gets one shot by Zashian. And again, depending on how things go. Now, I'll tell you what, you know, what thing, um, the matchup against uh, uh, Steve, the third game, mm. I had to resort to using Headbutt from Darmanitan V into okay. into V Max or into uh, Zamazenta V, and you know, so because I can't hit him with Inteleon uh, V Max, yeah. so I, and I have nothing else going for me, and I had no energy. He had enough. If I hit him with the the the, the one ninety. Um, I think that puts him at enough damage that he can knock me out with Zam- Zam- uh, Zamazetta. And I headbutt him and I get the heads. And he's paralyzed and he couldn't Jesus. switch. And that's how I won. And it was just pure luck on that one because I had nothing going for me at that point because he had alter creation, everything. He was up to speed, but I had taken out ADP. I had taken out, or no, he didn't play ADP. I'd taken out two Zashians at that point. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, and then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, his Zamazetta is powered up, and he's he took out Inteleon, um, and I just got I got real lucky on the heads. And as soon as he got the heads, he couldn't switch, and no way to get him out of the active. I just followed up, hit him for the 190, and I won the game that way. <laughs> but nice. yeah, but I mean, like that's the, like at least that's why I like this one because I have variation play against I feel like enough different decks out there. Yeah, uh, so yeah, against like a lightning. Um, you have the Darmanitan, which is, is cool. He yeah. can hold his own. Against the Zashian variants, you have Inteleon, on which he can hold his own. So you just switch it up there. And then against everything else, like both could do well. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, cool lasso, like we talked about with Steve. And that's why I brought up the, uh, if you hit the Hydra Snipe and you hit him with the energy and send it back up, I learned that the hard way. Yeah. And, and well, I mean, it, it still stops him from being able to get like his max hit out quicker. It, yeah, but, but but when you're looking at, when he has only one energy or two energy down on him, there's just no point to do it. Because, and, yeah. Because the stone energy, like unlike horror energy, so horror energy is resolves after the attack. Okay. So yeah. that's why you take the twenty. But if you hide your snipe it and take it off, you don't get the you don't get the counter damage. Okay, which is important. Stone yes. energy reduces the damage from the attack, so it's still in a in, um, in play, and all you and it's like ah oh, great, so you don't even get the benefit of a hydra snipe removing special energy at all. Yeah. So it's it just it is a it's tough. Uh, so I, I I have yet to beat colossal, 
with Inteleon, you kind of rely on Darmanitan as much as you can because you can two shot them. But the, by if you're two, if you're you know they, they have enough Malawanas and they can heal that they take you out. And I I, I struggle against Luke Mel Metal still. You well, can't. Yeah, Luke you, Mel. Yeah, that's that's kind of a that's an almost that's a, yeah as we said that's yeah. like an auto loss right away. But yeah. Okay. Oh right, hey Jake, congrats though. Congrats. Oh, this is thank awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I congrats. For- for you too, um, you know, both seasons making the finals and really just coming into one game, like you're you're right there. So, I'm um, I'm happy with both of our progress. Um, like yeah. you've represented uh, us well, and well, you too, obviously. Continued, <laughs> yeah. His, uh, hopefully, uh, we continue having success and more people join us in the future. Yeah, and, and we can continue to do this. this more this importantly, fun. thanks to everyone that participated in this tournament. Thank you for yeah. Zach, our professor for the group yep. for running it phenomenal job sorry i took so long to get my other match in yeah, uh, yeah it took, it, it, <laughs> it took me you i had to wait forever to play colton for an extra day like uh, we're, i was like i was colton, moving i know but we're like colton let's play he's like yeah let's do it i'm like i told him i told oh. him but i because I, I actually I, you know what i can't complain zach zach's amazing um and thanks for chuck for being our whimsy watch so it's just you know the the yeah. team the the triple p team is just amazing and then also all the members it's just yeah it's so awesome so you know we're we're really appreciate all this so hey yeah, so i want to also say thanks to atrocious shake thanks to gyro sean thanks to uh count the money uh and to our future guests i guess we can give it a little uh preview since we're going to be doing this well before this airs um we're going to be actually uh interviewing zach lesage uh the winner of player cup two so thank you in advance to him for coming on and uh luke from celio's network is as well for coming on in the future this weekend so i'm pretty pumped about our our guests and thank for all of them coming on and just you know the continued support we were getting from the community at large yeah all the support's amazing so thank you again all right, Jake, that's going to do it for us here now. Uh, uh, see you, everyone. Peace.